baby. I had to make it through the pain. Make it through the pain. When everybody said I can't. Galindo, for the first of our eight verbal commitments, he's standing by with Xavier Dixon. And Xavier is the number five defensive end in the ESPNU 150 out of Georgia. Big question is, though, will he leave the state of Georgia? It's down to two teams, Alabama and Georgia, but your dad says the real decision is Young Jeezy or Tupac. <laughs> yes, yeah, Young Jeezy. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Now with Alabama or Georgia, where are you going to play college football? Uh, Alabama. There you go. Xavier Dixon on his way to play for the Alabama Crimson Tide. I heard recently you were going to actually do a coin flip to determine this. What happened with that? I didn't want to do it. I thought it was too big of a risk. Why Alabama? Well, they have a great coaching staff, and the players they have around the program is good. I think I'll fit in just fine with their program. I'm sure you will. Xavier, congratulations. Justin, this has been one of the stars of the week in the practices leading up to the Under Armour All-America game. ESPNU 150 commit number eight for Alabama, only Florida State with more. Yo, 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 what's going on, big dog? What's up, what's happening? How you doing? I can't complain. Finally, somebody my size or bigger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, uh, what's your name, man? Uh, Xavier Dixon, uh, defensive end. Went to Griffin High School. Okay, Griffin High School. So what brings you out here to Spalding, man? Uh, Coach Turner with my coach at Griffin. They had a great relationship. He taught me a lot. I'm prepared for the next level. Okay. We just been locked in ever since. Yes, sir. Man, you're about the third or fourth player that either played college or the NFL that spoke very highly about their relationship with Coach Kearney. Of course. Uh, speaking of that, how do you feel like your relationship with Coach Kearney prepared you to play football at the Alabama, man? University of Alabama. Oh, man, like from him being in the league and him just like setting examples and like, the, the stuff that he taught us, it just taught us mental toughness. Like, that's the biggest thing you're, you're going to need at the next level, like. Yes, sir. Mental toughness, because you're going to go through adversity, like. For sure. It's just life, it just happens. So, like, the biggest thing I say he taught me is, like, mental toughness. For sure. Facts. And so, we work. And we work. We're hard. Yeah, we work. So, to go from Coach Kearney to the legendary <laughs> Coach Saban, how was that transition? <laughs> that was so crazy, man, like. It was different, true enough, because of the talent. But like everything we did, they prepared me for in high school. Straight up. Like how we worked in high school was how we worked in college. Probably, probably a little bit more harder. Yeah. But you, like it, they, they set the foundation for it. For sure. For how it's supposed to be done. Yes, sir. So when I got there, it was just like the transition was as big as somebody who just came from high school that didn't work. For sure. Yeah. But Saban, a great coach. Yeah. yeah. You still got a relationship with Saban? Oh uh, yeah. When I go up there, we speak like I don't. We see each other. Yeah, we speak. Great guy. I, yeah. mean, I love him. Great coach. Yes, sir. So while you were there, I know you won a national championship. But the question is, how many did you win? Uh, I won two. Two. I won, um, yeah, I won my freshman and sophomore year. I won back to back. Yes, sir. Yep, All I right. started both. I started both games. For sure. OK, so to, to go through high school and not win a state championship, but then go to college and win two back to back national championships, how was that? How was that feeling for you? I probably trade my champion, my national champion for a full state championship. Straight up. I would. Yeah. I both of them was at one. Nah, one. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do both of them. I'm saying, but I get one back. Yes, sir. Yeah, in fact, I won the state championship bad. Yes, sir. But I won it in next level too, so that's. That's what's up. Yeah, that's a blessing. Yes, sir. Especially to win two back to back. For sure. So to know that you won two national championships, to play for a coach like uh, Nick Saban, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say you made it to the NFL. Yeah, I got drafted uh, by the Patriots. How was that experience to get drafted? <sighs> to get drafted, man, like, it's like it's special, like. Yeah. I think it's what, 200 some players to get drafted, probably like a million to end the draft. <laughs> yes, sir. So I'm saying, like, they, they just speak volumes of, in itself. For sure. Like, be the top two, three hundred people in the, in the class of a million. Yes, sir. So, like, it was a great experience, bro. Okay. So then let's talk about that transition from, that transition from college. <laughs> so so you went from a great coach in high school, Coach Kearney, right. to another great 
coach in Nick Saban yeah. to probably, arguably, the greatest coach in Bill Belichick. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> How was that transition? Man, what's so crazy, man? Like, Saban and Belichick, man, they like, they gonna like be like brothers, man. Like, they walk the same, they talk the same, they, like, they coach the same, like they like, like he's greatness. So I guess For it's sure. just like that's a part of being great, right? Like man, they do everything the same, man. Like you no know, favoritism, it's straight up and down. I don't care who you are, you gonna get the real. You can play, you gonna play, get on the field. That's her. Yeah, great coaches though, both of them. All right, so now I'm gonna ask you a fan question, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a fan of football. Okay. Uh, Tom Brady, you got a chance to play with Mr. Tom Brady? Yeah, I picked him before in practice, my rookie year. For sure? Yes, I did. So how was Tom as a as a teammate? Was it, uh, how was that experience? Did he interact with you guys or he more so was on the offensive side of the ball? Like, how does that go? He was more so on the offensive, offensive side of the ball, right? So when I picked him in practice one day, we in the locker room. Yeah. I'm sitting there, I think I was sitting there, one of my one of my players locked him, one of my teammates locked him. And he walked by, he said, what's up? Like he just spoke <laughs> and he said my name and I'm just like, mind you, this is my favorite player. Yeah, like, for sure. Growing up, like yeah. braided over anybody, I'm like, dead serious. So like when he said, I'm like, dang, you know me. Yeah. Like a couple days after I just picked him off, <laughs> yeah. straight up. So it was like cool. And I was, yeah, you know, was, like, that was a great feeling. For sure. Like, so Brady they acknowledge me for him to know me, even though we're on the same team, team. but it's like, yeah. it's Brady. Yeah, yeah. And it's everybody. <laughs> it's the big goat. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's, it's Brady, bro. Like, yo, everybody can't. Then the way he do stuff, it's just like, I can see why he like how he is. For sure. Yeah. So what do you what do you think the ceiling is for the Spalding High Jaguars going into this new season, uh, 2023 season? Oh, man. You say discipline, consistent, and you work hard, man. The sky's the limit. Yes, sir. There ain't no ceiling. You make your own ceiling. For sure. You play hard, you stay disciplined and consistent, man. Ain't yes, no ceiling where you can go. For sure. Well, this is part of the interview, man, where I give uh, give my interviewee the opportunity to say anything they want to say to JPN TV. Uh, they could be to the organization, to the, your city of Griffin, or to some of your fans. I'm pretty sure you got a lot of them. Man, Roll Tide, all my Bama fans, and man, to JP Ten Penny TV, I appreciate it, man. It's doing great work out here with the community for high school. Like, yeah, it's great. So, yes, I appreciate you. I appreciate Coach Kearney for having me out here. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Well, appreciate you for joining me, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cause in the bucket in my city When I come down to the city it for a bit